are the four prelims of the earth. Life exists on the earth because of the favorable conditions present here. Why? Because all the things what we need to sustain life are there on the earth. Land, water, air. Yes, everything is present on this earth. So we are able to live our life on this earth. These three together form the major components of the environment. Yes, this air, water, and land. These three are the major components and of the environment. And they are called as lithosphere, hydrosphere, and additional sphere. You can see in this diagram this atmosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere. A combination of these three components create a ideal condition for nurturing of all forms of life. This zone is known as the biosphere. Dear students, this zone is known as the biosphere. Dear lithosphere, atmosphere, biosphere, and hydrosphere. These are the four realms of the earth. Because of which life is possible on this earth. First, we we'll go through the lithosphere. Lithosphere is the layer on which we live. Lithosphere, literally meaning, is sphere of rocks. If we break this word, means sphere of rocks. Layer, students, layer of rocks. It is the topmost layer on the surface of the earth. Lithosphere is the topmost layer on the surface of the earth, which is made up of rocks and soil. Yes, lithosphere is made up of rocks and soil. Lithosphere includes the solid and rocky part of the earth on which we live. So, rocky and solid part. The thin layer of the soil on the crust contains minerals and sustain the life. The thin layers of the soil on the crust contain minerals and sustain the life. The lithosphere is uneven in topography. Topography means surface. Here students land area. So lithosphere is the uneven land. Uneven by the way. Somewhere we find mountains, somewhere plateaus, desert, or flat plain surface. So it is called uneven. So it is uneven. The surface of the earth can be divided into two major parts. Here, this surface of the earth or the lithosphere can be divided into two main parts. First, continent or large land masses, which constitute 29% of the earth's surface. And second is the ocean or large water body, which cover 71% of the earth's surface. Clear students? Continent, first is continent or the large land masses. Second is ocean or large water bodies, which cover 71% of the earth's surface. We move towards the next part of this lithosphere that is the first continents yes students you all know how this continent came yes students how we got this continent there are many theories to study about the continent pangea the word pangea is derived from the greek word greek language which means all lands Pangea means all lands. The theory of Pangea states that all the seven continents that exist today once were joined together. Yes. Today we find seven different continents. Earlier they all were joined. It was only one landmark. Here together they were known as supercontinent. Together they were known as supercontinent and all Pangea. The process of the split of the supercontinent began 2000 years ago. As a result of the split of pieces of landmarks drifted apart slowly and have assumed the present shapes. 
for 2000 years ago they have got a split around that supercontinent and this present form we are having till now the process of changing of the shape of earth is our surface is continuous means till till now also these changes are going on clear students so this you can see the seven continents they were one earlier same continent one only continent because of the shift in that they got separates so at presently we are finding the seven continents on the earth surrounded by ocean from all sides clear yeah? so they are surrounded by ocean on all the four sides from all sides not from all sides these continents are floating in the hydrosphere hydrosphere you know the body of water that is hydrosphere so these continents are floating on the water you see we see the distribution of landmass on the earth you can say that greater part of the landmass lies in the northern hemisphere dear students so major part of this land surface lies in the northern hemisphere whereas in the southern hemisphere the concentration of landmass is less so larger part of this continent or countries are located in the northern hemisphere and in southern part we have less so now we move towards the different different continents so first continent we'll study is about asia see students you can see the different different continents here see the largest continent the first continent is asia then we have north america south america africa europe australia and the last is antarctica clear students and this blue color everywhere you can see this blue color it is ocean clear students this blue color is ocean and these are the different continents so we will study first about asia Asia is the world's largest continent. It's also one of the most populous continents, mainly located in eastern part of the northern hemisphere. It covers 8.7 percent of the Earth's total surface. So, 8.7 percent of the total Earth surface is covered in this Asia continent, and about 60 percent of the world's current population lives on this large. continent here yes, students so 60% of the population of the world is located in asia continent it lies to the east of the swiss canal it lies to the east of swiss canal and the ural mountains ural mountains are located in the europe in the north it is separated from europe by caspian sea this in the north it is separated from the europe by caspian sea europe with asia is known as eurasia yes see europe and asia they are together linked i can show you with this again the map students you can see this map continent map you can see europe and asia they are joined together okay and this was center this border this is the ural mountain range so they are together known as eurasia Europe and Asia they are joined together so they are called as Eurasia and they are separated by a mountain range called Ural Mountains Asia and Europe are separated from each other from a mountain range called Eurasia Ural Ural Mountains the two major famous latitude equator and tropic of cancer passes through this see students this is the asia continent you can see now Which which countries are located in the Asia continent? First, the largest country, Russia, is in the northern part of this Asia continent. Here, then we come Kazakhstan, Mongolia, China, then India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iran. Iraq, 
Turkey, Saudi Arabia, here, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, Luas, Vietnam, Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia. <coughs> yes, I will find Japan. These all are, see Japan, this is Japan, Tokyo, capital of Japan. North Korea, South Korea, you might be hearing these names nowadays too much. You know? So these all countries are part of Asia continent. You can see these are country India. India ranks seventh largest country. First is Russia. Second, China. Then comes America. India is the seventh largest country in the world. You all are aware of the capital of India? Yes. Students, today. Okay. So this was about the Asia continent. Clear, students? The countries of Asia continent. You should all learn which are the countries of Asia continent with their capitals. Now we move towards the next continent that is Africa. Africa is the second largest continent. You can see the, the map of Africa country. See Egypt, Libya, Algeria, Syria, Sad, Sudan, Ethiopia, Uganda, Congo, Central Africa, Cameroon, Angola, Namibia. These all are the countries of Africa. Africa is the second largest and the second most populous continent. Yes. After Asia, this is the most populous continent. Asia is the largest populous, populated continent because in that Asia continent, India and China are the largest populated country. China is the first populated country and India is the second largest populated country in the world. And now, Africa continent is the second largest populated continent. Its area accounts for about 6% of the Earth's total surface. And in... So, total land surface is of 6% of the total world's now, total earth surface and population counts for 14.72% of the world's population. So, 14% of population is located in the Africa continent. And in Asia, we have 60% of population. Africa, we have 14% of population. It is located to the west of the Swiss Canal. This Africa is located to the west of Swiss Canal. The Atlantic Ocean is to the west and the Mediterranean Sea is in the north. Now the location, how it is located? So Atlantic Ocean is to the west and Mediterranean Sea is to the north. Africa lies both in the northern and southern hemisphere. Yes. It's the only continent which lies in the, both the hemisphere, northern and southern. <coughs> It is the only continent to which Tropic of Capricorn and Tropic of Cancer are passing. Yes, Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn both are passing through this continent. The world's largest desert, that is Sahara Desert, lies in the northern part of Africa. And the river Nile. Clear students? So, the Sahara Desert, the largest deserts are also located in the Africa continent. The world's longest river in the land, that is River Nile, is also located in Africa continent. It is home to one of the world's oldest civilizations. Yes. Egyptian civilization is also home to the world's oldest civilization also studies in this continent only. So students, this was about the Africa continent. Here, first largest continent is Asia. Second largest continent is Africa. Now we move towards the next continent that is North America. North America is the third largest continent on the earth. 
students, you can see this in the map, the third largest continent. And you can see the countries, United States, Canada, Mexico, and the other countries of the North America continent. This continent lies in the western part of Northern Hemisphere. And it is in the western part of the Northern Hemisphere. It is surrounded by three oceans. Yes, North America is surrounded by three oceans. Students, you can see this. Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, and above the Arctic Ocean. Clear, students? This ocean is the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and Arctic Ocean in the north, in the northern part here, this side, you can see the Arctic Ocean. Now, to the south, it is connected to the South America. See, this is the southern part, students. You can see the arrow. It is located to South America. With a narrow strip of land known as Isthmus. The narrow strip, this is called the Isthmus of Panama. This is called the Isthmus of Panama. North America accounts for about 16.2% of the Earth's surface. And total surface of land is 16.2 surface. And it ranks fourth population wise upon Asia, Africa, and Europe. And population wise, it is the fourth ranking population. So, so this was about the North America continent. Dear students, North America is the third largest continent on the earth and it lies in the western part of Northern Hemisphere, surrounded by three oceans, which are three Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, and here Arctic Ocean. And it covers 16% of the total earth surface of the world. And in the population, it ranks fourth. As Asia is the first, Africa second, Europe third, and this North America, it is fourth in the population. Now, we move towards the South America. South America, students. It is the fourth largest continent area wise and the fifth in population. It lies in the western part of Southern Hemisphere. Clear? See, North America is in Northern Hemisphere and Southern, Amish, Southern America is in the Southern Hemisphere. It is surrounded by North America on the north, Pacific Ocean on the west, and Atlantic Ocean on the east. You can see this. South America students. Now the equator passes from the northernmost part of this continent and in the northern part equator passes through. It is home to the world's highest waterfalls named as Angel Falls in Venezuela and the world's largest river. See longest and largest are different. Longest river is Nile and largest is Amazon. Amazon flows to South America. The world's longest mountain range. Andes runs north to south. From north to south, Andes mountain range. The longest mountain range. Himalayas are largest mountain. Here, students, the highest peak of this range is Angangokoa at 6,962 meters above the sea level. South America is also famous for its driest place in the world. Yes, it is also famous for the driest place that is Atacama Desert and the dense Amazon forests are habitat to numerous rare forms of flora and fauna. Yes, and you might have heard about the Amazon forest, not Amazon, the online market. Okay, it's Amazon the forest and Amazon is a river also, the largest river students. So this was about the South America, clear, students? And how it is separated from North America and South America from the Isthmus of Panama Canal, students. As India and Sri Lanka, they are separated through past stage. Now we move towards the next 
part of the continent that is Europe. Dear students, Europe it is the second largest and smallest continent on the earth. Okay, it is the second smallest continent on the earth. It lies in the eastern part of the northern hemisphere. So, Europe is located in the eastern part of the northern hemisphere. It is bordered by Arctic Ocean in the north and by the Atlantic Ocean in the west. It lies to the west of Asia and the Ural Mountains. Clear? It lies to the west of Asia and the Ural Mountains. So, Europe is the smallest continent on the earth. And where it's located? In the eastern part of Northern Hemisphere. It lies to the west of Asia and the Ural Mountains. It has an area which accounts for only 7.0% of the Earth's surface of total area. So it counts only 7% of the Earth's surface. The Arctic Circle passes through it. Arctic Circle passes through it. Most of the world's developed nations lie in this continent. Yes, all the developed nations of the world, the developed countries of the world are in the European continent. Clear? And Europe and Asia, they are separated through Ural Mountains. Europe and Asia together, they are known as Ural Mountains. So students, this was about the Europe. Now we can study about the Australia continent. Australia, Australia is the smallest continent. This completely lies in the southern hemisphere. So Australia is completely in the southern hemisphere. The Tropic of Capricorn passes midway of the continent. What is passing? Tropic of Capricorn passes midway of the continent surrounded on all sides by oceans and seas, mainly Indian Ocean, the Pacific Ocean and the northern and eastern parts. Clear? It is run by all sides, ocean and seas, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean. Therefore, it is also known as island continent. Australia is also called as island continent because it is surrounded by sea on all the sides. The unique animal, kangaroo, is found here. Yes, students, the animal kangaroo you might have seen this kangaroo. So it is also found in this Australia continent. Here, yeah? so Australia is the smallest continent completely located in the southern hemisphere. The Tropic of Capricorn passes to the mid of the continent. Clear yeah, students? And the only a unique animal called as kangaroo is found in the Australia. Now the next part is about hydrosphere. So hydrosphere will start after next is the Antarctica, the last continent. It is the southernmost continent on the South Pole. South Pole lies at the center of the continent. Yes, it is the fifth largest continent and is covered with the thick layers of ice. As Australia is covered by snow uh, water, Antarctica is completely covered with the snow. Extreme cold conditions prevail here. It is no man's land, isolated continent also. Students, this is called as isolated continent because human beings are not possible to live there. Some of the unique animal species found here are penguin, blue whale, four seals. For the purpose of exploration, many countries, including India, have established their base camps here. India's camps are named as Dakshin Gangotri and Maitri. These are the research centers which are 
this were indian government on this antarctica continent dear students this is about the antarctica continent it is the fifth largest continent and covered completely with thick layers of ice extremely harsh conditions it was completely cold it is also called as isolated continent isolated because human beings cannot survive in extreme conditions and many countries have established their research centers here as india's research camps are dakshin gangotri and maitri dear students so this is about the antarctica continent students we have studied about the different continents seven continents in the lithosphere that are asia africa america north america south america europe australia and antarctica dear students now we move towards the hydrosphere okay hydrosphere on the earth refers to water in all forms of that is solid liquid and gases hydrosphere means water on the water layer on the earth it comprises underground water rivers lakes oceans ice caps and glaciers etc 71% of the earth surface is covered with the water and rest 29% is land so 71% of the earth is covered with the water but out of that 29% uh, it's only how much percent water fresh water is only 1% and 29% is the land surface so because of this 79% 21% of water earth is called as the blue planet because water appears blue the volume of the world ocean is estimated to be 1.367 million cubic kilometers it accounts for about 97% of the water on the surface and rest 3% is fresh water which is present in the form of ice on mountain tops as glaciers on the polar regions and lakes underground reservoirs students the lowermost limit of the ice on the mountain top is called snow line the lowermost line limit of the ice on the mountain top is called snow line this snow line keeps on shifting up and down according to the seasons so this snow line keeps on shifting up and down according to the seasons dear students so students here i stop about this continent 